for most for athletes, a wetsuit is one of the biggest investments they have as far as their swimming goes. Uh, care, maintenance of one can make it last uh, for years. So today I want to go over a few things on how to clean, dry, and, and store your wetsuit. Alright, so after your swim, very important that you, keep, you clean your wetsuit uh, with clean, cool water. You want to rinse it all completely down, front, back, everything you got, rub it as you take it off. And once you're done, you will leave it inside out uh, for the drying period. Now, rinsing it after every usage will keep your wetsuit lasting longer, but occasionally you need to really clean it. There are products on the market to do so. There is mild soap uh, dish detergent, or I use um, the mild baby wash. And basically you can just put it in the bathtub and pour it on and just scrub, scrub it down. Now drying your wetsuit is a key factor in maintaining good quality. A lot of people think you throw it in the sun and that black will heat up and, and evaporate the moisture out of it and everything's good and kills the germs and whatever, but that sun is doing more damage to it than even leaving it wet. But the key to, to keeping it dry or getting it dry would be to hang it indoors this and let it drain and dry. A couple hours, sometimes overnight, will take care of that. The other option, and one that I found to uh, work best for me, is the towel method. And that's if uh, you want to swim, you know, multiple days in a row and you want to make sure your wetsuit is dry, you just basically take your towel inside out, the wetsuit's inside out, this one is, you lay it in the towel, <clears throat> you roll it up, make sure the wetsuit's inside, and then you knead it. And you continue to do that, rotating it and kneading it. Do that for three or four minutes, then take a long time, and then unroll it. And again, you're not hanging it in the sun or out to dry. So you can hang it over a chair or a, a hanger and, and let it continue to dry inside out. Once that's done, it feels dry to you. You go ahead and reverse it and continue to let make sure the outside is dry. This wetsuit I swam in today, I did that procedure earlier this morning and it's good to go. Ready to swim in. Storing your wetsuit is as important as keeping it clean. The way you store it can cause it to break down as well. A lot of people insist on hanging it in the closet like a coat uh, and use hangers of this nature. But well, it tends to put points in your shoulders and can cause it to stretch out unevenly. Some people like to go ahead and use a little system of this nature that rounds it out, makes it work a little better or you can go a little bit more extreme with something of this nature if you just insist on hanging it. The best way to hang your wetsuit is a system of this nature. Get a small towel, wrap it around uh, one of these type of hangers, fold your wetsuit and let it hang from there. Another way to store your wetsuit is a flat lay, whether you're going to stick it in a drawer, in the closet, wherever the key to it is folding it and this is also the way you can fold it to travel. You basically want to put face down, take one arm over, the other arm over, bring both legs up and to the top. And this flat lay will sit in a, a suitcase or it'll go into a drawer or shelf in the closet, wherever you want to do it, and then 
when the season starts again, it'll be ready to go. Now that we've gone over some key tips on how to maintain and take care of a wetsuit, you just need a nice, high quality, eco-friendly, affordable wetsuit. Check out these guys, they're doing a great job out there and I really love my wetsuit.